Now that we've got this little piece uh, painted up, I wanted to uh, make sure I went back and cleaned off that paint. So we're going to get a nice grounding through this. So what I'm going to do next is verify the ground from just inside of the threads on this side of this bracket up through this part, which we just added to it. And I'll be using just a voltometer that just happens to have, this one happens to have uh, automotive things that are actually pretty handy when it comes to measuring capacitance for your condenser. And anyway, we can get into that. It's that Uni-T UT109 model. And I also like to use leads that have alligator clips. So whenever you uh, pick up a voltometer, make sure you get one that has alligator clips that attach to the standard probes. And that way you can hook things up. Also, I wanted to uh, share with you probably one of the best books that I've ever seen and used when it comes to learning the basic electricity. And uh, that's uh, by Paul Zabar and some other folks. It has a, uh, this particular version has some great, more up to date, I would say. Uh, it was 2001 copyright. The book that I used originally back in high school was uh, 1974 printing. But this is more up to date. I'll read off that ISBN. You can't see it. Uh, ISBN 13 digit is 9780078212275-8. You can buy these used at a pretty decent price. This is what they would teach you in school if you were studying electronics. So having this under your belt really is a big help for just doing the basic automotive stuff. Uh, we did get our horn in. And as you can see, the uh, standard motor products are changing their name. I hope that's not a harbinger of bad things to come, but Intermotor is now their new name. And we've got the, the horn. We're going to assemble the horn. Also, if I can keep my kitty cat off of there, you guys who are into the thick film stuff for your Ford distributors, thick film ignitions, you know about the uh, dielectric paste to use on your electrical connections. And thank you. If I can read that, it says for all electrical, electrical connections uh, where a dielectric compound is required, to prevent voltage loss from arcing, suppress, or suppress radio frequency interference, dissipates heat, insulates trailer wiring connectors, and seals out moisture. So when I get that screw put into that bracket, we're going to make sure that that's not going to get super corroded anytime soon. Let me set things up for a test. Hello.